You saw the story where you crushed that poor kid in the WCG qualifier. So many people are bringing that up. Yeah, I understand that Day9 told a story. I only vaguely recall this. Like, I mean, I I played WCG for eight years. So I've played so many tournaments that it's like... And I've bashed so many people that weren't good. <laughs> that it's like... I don't, I don't remember every single thing. Why is he making words play a C? Okay. Sorry. Sorry, someone asked. <laughs> okay. Where for some reason, there was this kid who went to the Las Vegas event, and there was some sort of, I don't even remember what it was, but like, literally, nobody showed up. Except for like a 12 year old child and this child's father. And so this 12 year old kid won the Las Vegas qualifier. And so this was like another year, this was in 2005, yeah. So like there were 16 players who were qualified for the national finals. And um, so there's like 15 good players and the mysterious, the legendary Las Vegas kid. And so, you know, we get to the event. I remember I was hanging out with uh, Artosis, Dan, and there's another Terran player named Assem. Um, so the Warcraft 3 players, like Wizard and um, Ironclad. And we're all hanging out and talking, you know, like Warcraft 3 players, like asking us a little bit about like, what we're going to be doing and um, <laughs> what we're thinking you know, about the event. And and Dan goes, does anyone know who the Las Vegas kid is playing? we got to redraw. And I'm like, dude, I want to play a fucking Las Vegas kid. Um, no, I'm sorry, this was 2004. This is 2004, right? <laughs> so, um, um, and so, and then so all the StarCraft players started to slowly find each other at the hotel. They started to slowly come together. <laughs> and we're all like, has anyone met the Las Vegas kid? And it's like, no, I've met the, you met the fucking Las Vegas kid. And it's like, okay, does anyone know anything about the Las Vegas kid? Like, is he just, is he good? Does he, I don't know. Because again, there's, I, want, I cannot stress to you enough. There's no fucking... Twitter account, there's no ranking. You just played in full isolation and just hoped you were good. You know what I mean? It was nuts. And then Dan and I were walking back to the hotel. Me and Artos were walking back to the fucking hotel. <laughs> and then, and there was this kid who was just like with his dad, sweetest dad. I was like, hey, are you, are you two young gentlemen participating in the World Cyber Games Tournament? And the reason he asked us is because we were holding fucking keyboards in Long Beach, okay? And I went, yeah, 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 no, we're playing WCG. Well, this is my son. He attended the Las Vegas event. And this this kid that was, like, so small. You know, the kid actually, if we're being if we're being real, the kid kind of looked like this fucking thing, right? Like, there he is. He was, he was just like, hello. Like, imagine instead of a mushroom for a head, this is a human head. And imagine uh, if instead of a hand, it's it's the same hand that's there, okay? He just comes up, hi, did you know that if you build a dark uh, Templar really fast and they don't have detection, then you can kill their workers? And Dan and I looked at each other, and, and I, I looked at Dan, and Dan looked at me, and I know we both thought the same fucking thing. We both went, oh, oh, maybe I can be a pro gamer. And then he's so bad he turns around. Can you even what? fucking believe that? I didn't even try to block my ramp because I thought no one would be this stupid. God, I fucking hope I rip this kid to shreds in round one. Please, God, pair me against this child. Like, that's the thing. It's like, I don't want any harm on this kid. But we take those. We take those wins. You know what I mean? We take those wins. I'm not I'm not ashamed of that. Like I sometimes queue up Dota, three of the opponents uh disconnect and we win the game in eight minutes. Great, perfect. Give me the points. Fucking I had a great night. Drinks are on me, you know? Like So Dan and I just looked at each other and we're just like Fucking pair of the Vegas kid? Who got pair of the Vegas kid? So so it turns out like um the brackets were drawn and I was not against Vegas Kid, but I was like one away from Vegas Kid. And it was just like, God, fuck. Oh, and I was like, God, Day 9, y'all, you were so fucking almost like, you almost got to play against a Vegas Kid. Um, 
And then it turned out that they messed up the brackets because they thought that one person didn't show up. So they had to redraw the brackets. And guess who got to play against the Vegas kid? Guess who got to? Dan Artosis Stemkowski got to play against the Vegas kid. Now, I don't know if any of you have seen uh, the, the Revenant, I think it's called. And I don't know if any of you who watched that movie remember the scene where the bear met Leonardo DiCaprio. Let's just say that uh, Artosis was playing like 350 APM, his optimized build order, like splitting three control groups, like just absolutely steamrolled this kid. And the thing is, remember, like this is during an era where there's no, there's nothing for competitive players. There's nothing, we, we have nothing. We have nothing at all. This is our one event each year, and it's hard to even find out how it happens. This is our one thing. And so when Dan won that game, I remember he turned around, and Dan had this, all right, on to round two. He was like, all right, cool, awesome, perfect. And, the, <laughs> and I was in the fucking hell bracket. I was way on the other side, man. Oh, I had a horrible, horrible time in that tournament. Oh my god, like every single round was went to game three. It was fucking so stressful. Great, man. I was the happiest I've ever seen Dan in my life. Pandora Star Braces, did the kid get destroyed? Oh, he got knocked out like as quickly as a person can get knocked out of a tournament. Uh, you know, and his dad just hung out with his kid and went around Long Beach and they had a great time, you know. This fucking kid just had heard of StarCraft and played StarCraft and you know, it was just, it was like a thing, you know, it, for him, it wasn't the, the, the thing that he had sacrificed his entire life to pursue like me and Dan did, right? That's not what this small child was. Mad Empires and Suffer Artos being children. You know, now that I'm saying that, I, I'm starting to, I'm, I'm slightly worried it wasn't Dan that played against him first round. I'll, I'll ask Dan. We'll host Dan and be like, Dan, you played against the Las Vegas kid <laughs> first round 2004, right?